Paragraph Styles and Character Styles. Find the menus for Character Styles and Paragraph Styles here in the Type menu. I have this document here. It has a main title, some body copy, some side headings, and we are going to use Paragraph Styles and Character Styles to format this in a global fashion. So right here, we made up some specs. So our main title will be Times New Roman font with 36 points. So right here in Paragraph Styles, we have Basic Paragraph. Everywhere that I would click into any of these paragraphs, that's the style that they have right now. And a paragraph is defined as any amount of text between these hard enter returns. So if I have my cursor here, the paragraph runs from this return to this hidden character here, this return. So we are going to click the panel menu and start a new paragraph style. And here's our specs. The main title, so we're going to call it main title. For all of these, we don't want to base it on any other paragraph style, just the no paragraph style. But we are going to come here and just make a few little changes. So our spec for this is Times New Roman. And we said it's going to be 36 points. And that's really all that we had for this paragraph style, but we could have added more. We're just keeping it simple. So we are going to, uh, we're going to say, okay, usually this is not checked by default. So I'm going to uncheck it. So I've made a paragraph style. It's called main title. I say, okay. So you can see it shows up here. I'm going to click into this first line and click main title to apply it and that's done. And now we're going to make a second paragraph style, new paragraph style. It's going to be called a uh, side heading. Now because I was happened to be in the main title, it thinks it's based on that. We're going to just change that to say base it on having absolutely no existing formats. And then we're going to come here and for our side headings we want Arial 24 points. So we will change this to Arial 24 points and we'll say OK. I'm going to come back to General and right now it's not apply to any selection. I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to take, I'm going to click here where my side heading is and apply the side heading paragraph. And now I'll just use my down arrow key and I'm just going to go to each line here. Actually, I'll jump down with my mouse to this one and just apply those. So what is left here is the body copy. So I'm going to click into the body copy and you will see that it will change back to basic paragraph because there, there is no style applied right now. And we have our specs for our body copy. So we're going to make a new style. It's going to be called body copy. It's based on no paragraph style. And it's going to be Minion Pro 14 points. So we'll come here, Minion Pro. That's the default. So it, it, that's what it is already. That's why that's filled in. So we have 14 point. And we will come back here. And you can see that here's our settings. No paragraph style. Um, the font did take the same style as no paragraph style and the font size is 14 and I will say OK. And now I'm currently 
the cursor is active on this paragraph. You can see that it's basic paragraph formatting. I will change it to body copy. And just go and change the rest of these to body copy. So you can see that if uh, your boss decides all of a sudden that uh, they believe, oh actually let me say something here. You just have to have the cursor in before you apply it. But if you have a few paragraphs after one another, then you actually need to have a little piece of each one. You don't have to have the whole thing, but a little piece of each one in order to apply it to all of these. So now you can see that we have no indenting, and now your boss makes more decisions. They say, I want the body copy to have an indent. So you don't have to go and format each uh, paragraph individually. Now you're coming back into body copy. We'll go into indents and spacing, and we will put a left indent on. And we're also going to put a space after, a little bit there, and say OK. And you can see that we've actually put an indent on all of these paragraphs here. So it's a very global, fast way to get the job done. Now character formats, or character styles, sorry. We've been formatting all along through this control bar here, or control panel. Now we're going to make character styles. So character styles, it's a little bit different. I have put the word InDesign in each of these paragraphs. Paragraph styles is going to be applied to more individual types of words. So we're going to make our first character style is going to be bold and red. So we're going to come up here to this panel, new character style. It will be a bold and red style. Based on none, I'll come in here and we just want it to keep whatever font families there. The only thing we want to change is here. We're going to make this bold, and we're going to come to the character color, and we're going to make it red. I'm going to come back to general here, and you can see bold and a red color. We haven't applied it to the selection. Uh, because we don't actually have anything selected. And for character styles, you need the word selected. So I'm going to say OK. And you can see we have a style here. And now I'm just going to select the word in design and apply this character formatting to the word and so on. Now it is work to come through here and apply these character styles, but the power of this is that if your boss should then decide that this needs to be changed, you do not have to go and change anything individually. You can do it globally right here, bold and red, double click it, and uh, now she would also like this to be bold and italic, and she would like this to be navy blue. And when we say OK, everything that has the style applied to it now updates globally. So you can see that this is a very powerful tool. So that is method one.